Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy's back. Backdoor Fantasy Sports. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah, happy to have you back, bro. Thank I mean, you. gosh, I think we all missed you. Thankfully, on the NFL video, we did cash our picks. I needed, I needed a little, uh, <laughs> needed a little bounce back. <laughs> Took care of you guys now. for sure. You guys made some money. But, um, but yeah, and it was like a little morale boost. Uh, I mean, like after that last game with uh, with Derek White, when I'd taken Derek White, the 24 and a half PRA, and he gets uh, three fouls in six minutes and then doesn't play <laughs> until the second half. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Um, but uh, yeah, the little NFL cash uh, was nice, um, you know, getting us hyped up for this awesome slate we have tomorrow on Flex Friday. Um, so yeah, November 15th, we've got 12 games it's an nba cup day it's flex friday we're gonna have a blast with it we have four early picks for you that we're stoked on and then we're definitely going to be getting you four more tomorrow um uh, you know pretty much our our typical time we're gonna let the board fill out a little bit then we're gonna hit you guys with four more plays uh, but if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we let you know when we're doing our research so you know that the video is coming soon and uh, if you guys have any questions about picks, uh, just hit us in the comments and we'll try to help you figure that out in the comments as well. Um, and then uh, as always, uh, hit us with a like, guys. If you don't mind, it's like the easiest way to support us. You just press a button and it goes such a long way for us. So we appreciate you. Thank you uh, for the support. And um, yeah, we're gonna uh, break down some picks here. Uh, before we do, uh, we want to just let you know that we're still running our special with Parlay Play. Uh, so if you haven't signed up for Parlay Play yet, use code BACKDOOR, and they're going to give you a 100% deposit match up to $100 plus a $5 promo play, uh, which is nice instead of the free pick, which is great regardless, but uh, Parlay Play gives you a full free slip uh, to get you started. So um, take advantage of that. And then uh, the special we're running is you get 30 days in our premium Discord if you use code BACKDOOR on Parlay Play. Um, so if you want to take advantage of that, just email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com and we will uh, get you in. Um, you just have to give us your Discord username and your Parlay Play username. Uh, Parlay Play updates us daily with everyone that used the code and it shows the usernames. So you have to make your first deposit and make sure you put the code in and then that'll pop up on uh, that uh, list that they send us every morning. And then we'll get you right in the Discord. It's that easy. So um, yeah, and then we're also partnered with Underdog. So with Underdog, if you use code BACKDOOR, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash, plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. Underdog's been dropping boosts again. So um, they've been killing it. Uh, discounts, boosts, they've been giving in-game boosts. Uh, they're just, they're getting back active again, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and it's good to be diversifying the platforms you're playing on. Uh, if you're doing this regularly, you don't wanna just stick to one platform. You gotta like spread it out and uh, diversify. Um, so we have uh, all of our partners in the description of the video. If you haven't signed up for some of these, uh, definitely, uh, you know, go through, uh, go through our link, use our code. We really appreciate it. So let's talk about these plays. I'm going to be taking Victor Wimbanyama. I got to jump in on this. The dude is red hot right now. Um, and uh, his uh, PRA is just at 40.5 uh, playing against the Lakers. So I'm going to be taking that for more, getting that on all platforms. And Dyson Daniels uh, also been getting hot. Uh, I'm going to be taking him over 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists. And I think tonight I'm getting this on all the platforms, same lines across the board. Um, what are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so for me, I'm going to be taking uh, D'Angelo Russell's first half PRA on prize picks for over eight and a half. Um, and then I'm taking Anthony Edwards' uh, three points made for over three and a half on uh, prize picks as well. And on parlay play, we're getting Anthony Edwards. Um, if you guys want, um, let me pull him up real quick. For uh, D'Angelo Russell, they actually, uh, let me see here. There we go. Yeah, they actually don't have any D'Angelo Russell up. I like his regular PRA, so if you guys can find that on Underdog and uh, Parlay Play, I like his full PRA as well. I just like the first half better. So that's going to be what I'm rolling. But uh, yeah, if those come up at some point, that's what I like. So definitely look for those. I just don't want to give you something else. I didn't really see too much else, so that's what I'm going to be rolling with. All right. And, you know, we just let it slip under the radar, but in our last NBA video, Jordy got the sweep. So, didn't you? Yeah, I think I went 4-0. Yeah, 4-0. I went 2-2. Two two. It was like a 
I think I went two and two. Hopefully I'm not getting it confused with another night, but uh, you've been a lot hotter lately. I've been, um, man, I just, I can't, I haven't been able to put a couple of picks together. Uh, something always gets in the way. So oh, I know the feeling. Yeah, man, it happens sometimes and I, yeah. I caught the bug, but I'm going to be shaking it off here on Flex Friday, stoked for it. And I'm just like so pumped, got another NBA Cup day. We've got this massive slate. So um, I'm super hyped. A great way to start the weekend. So let's start. <sighs> Dang, dude, it actually might. Okay, I'm not going to get into it now, but I might bump I might bump both of these up a little bit and get a little wild with it on some of these slips. Um, but let's start talking about Victor Wimbanyama here. Um, so yeah, the dude is just has been on a massive heater. We actually have Anthony Davis, a game time decision as of five hours ago. He's probable. Um, oh, he's dealing with the planner's foot too, huh? Bummer. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully uh, he's good to go because we don't like to wish anything bad on anybody. But if he is not at 100%, this is going to be even easier for uh, Wembenyama. Uh, the matchup is not bad. Uh, middle of the road and then super juicy on rebounds. 13th in points allowed, uh, 26th in rebounds allowed, and 16th in assists allowed to centers. Um, I know sometimes he actually does bounce over to the four. If he if he happens to play the four, he's got a super juicy matchup for points. 28th in points allowed, 13th in rebounds allowed, 19th in assists allowed. Um, you know, this line's obviously a little bit higher. Uh, he's been he's been playing great. Uh, let's see if there's any other injuries. Um, yeah, Jeremy Sochan still out, um, which is a bummer because he was playing great to start the season two. Trey Jones, as of six hours ago, is out. Um, so, so yeah, the main thing I'm focusing on here is just the heater that he's been on. And we've seen it. We've seen a trend just trending right up. Let's see if it corresponds with his minutes here. Um, no, same old minutes. That's so crazy. He put up 50 points in 32 and a half minutes yesterday or not yesterday on the 13th. Um, feels like yesterday for me, but it won't be yesterday when this video gets out. Um, but yeah, obviously that's against Washington. Um, but he also went for 54 PRA against Sacramento, which is a much more difficult matchup. Only averaging 1.4 fouls per game, about 31.3 minutes per game, 15.4 rebound chances, uh, which is awesome, obviously. And then uh, six potential assists, and then back-to-back -back games with eight potential assists. So he is trying to get guys involved, but guys have to hit their shots for those uh, to cash, obviously. Um, but uh, shooting 47% from beyond the arc on 9.8 attempts per game. Uh, he's averaging 4.6 three-pointers per game right now. 53% um, from the field overall on 18.6 attempts. So his attempts, you know, his three-point attempts and his just overall field goal attempts are what you want to see, you know, um, if you're going to be taking uh, uh, any sort of play related to points. But yeah, he's just, he's being very active. He's a freak. We know, we know who he is. We know who he's supposed to be. So um, it's good to see, uh, it's good to see the Spurs looking a little bit better this year. Um, so feeling really good about this. I don't think there's a note from outlier on this one. It's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna like, I'm, I'm staying in the flames with them. Um, if we take a look at daily grind here, their favorite play is the points and assists over 28 and a half. That's a 52.92% odds to hit the over minus 132. Um, so just like I did in the NFL video, I'm just going to kind of walk you through these. And, and if you would, if you see something you like better than what I'm taking, just take it because we're here to help you guys cash. So you don't have to take the picks that we choose. I'm going the full PRA. Um, they, they like the under on his blocks and steals, uh, four and a half. I'm never, I'm just not interested in that because he could, he could make you pay pretty quickly, but, um, they like his over on the assists at three and a half. There are a lot of props that look good for him. Points, rebounds. I thought about taking that. Um, but then when I saw the back-to-back -back games with uh, eight potential assists, like he's trying to get guys involved. So at 40, um, I like that value there since it's uh, only a four-point bump. Um, let's see, the PRA, um, they still have favor to go over. It's a 50-50 shot, pretty much. They have it at a 50.35% odds to hit the over, minus 119. Um, every platform uh, is giving us this at 40.5. Wouldn't be surprised if it gets bumped by tomorrow. Um, everyone's got it like either slightly juiced to the over. The highest over we've got is a minus 125, but people are kind of uncertain. It's I think they're kind of like betting on is is he really in the flames right now or was this a couple of games? But I'm betting that he's really taking the turn just like uh, he started to last year. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good about this play. 
Uh, let's talk about Dyson Daniels, who uh, just dropped 28 points against Boston. I think he only made one three during that time. So he's cleared this um, six out of his uh, last 10 games. Is that? Yeah, so he has played 10 uh, in 2024 so far. Um, but I, I typically am looking for trends and we're, we're seeing a trend here. Um, things starting to pick up a little bit. Um, potential assists, uh, averaging eight potential assists per game right now. Um, let's talk about his minutes first though. 35.2 minutes per game uh, over the last five. Um, obviously that game against Boston was pretty uh, surprising. Like they, they played a, a great game. They uh, ended up, they actually ended up winning that game, huh? Is that on the 12th? Is that right? Yeah. Wow. I forgot about that. That was uh, that was pretty impressive. Um, I thought that I thought Boston barely won that game, but but he played 41 minutes in that game. Looked great. Um, 2.6 fouls. Excellent defender. So the fact that his fouls are only at 2.6 is awesome. 15.6 attempts per game from the field and uh, shooting 42%, averaging 6.6 field goals per per game. Not really shooting threes very often. 3.8 attempts, shoot, shooting bad from beyond the arc. So it's good that he's not shooting that many of them. It's only shooting 16%. Um, that makes sense why he uh, only had the one three, but I think that might be a little bit uh, inflated. Um, just how terrible, yeah, dude does not make threes very often. Um, let's look at the attempts. So yeah, he went one for five, zero oh for three, two for six. Um, but they don't need him to be doing that. Like they've got plenty of guys who can, who can drop threes. Um, I just think twenty point five. Um, I'm happy to take this. He he cashed seven assists and three rebounds in that last game. Um, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the actual matchup. Eighth in points allowed, nineteenth in rebounds allowed, and third in assists allowed. So. Um, I mean, this is Washington. I feel like uh, I feel like he should be able to get this done. That's not like a scary matchup. We'll look at both of these over unders real quick. So for Dyson, we got a 236 and a half over under. So they're expecting this to be a high scoring game. And once again, we've got NBA Cup. So first game of uh, the first day of NBA Cup played out exactly like we were hoping. Teams are, are trying to score the ball down to the last second of the clock, uh, which is so fun for daily fantasy. Um, Atlanta is favored by eight and a half. So knocking on the door of a little bit of a blowout, but uh, that doesn't scare us as much on NBA Cup days playing in Atlanta. And then uh, if we take a look at this Lakers Spurs game, 226 over under Lakers favored by three and a half playing in San Antonio. So nice uh, close spread there. Um, I'm excited, man. There's so many good games on tomorrow. It's it's wild too, because even like this uh, Brooklyn, uh, the Nets versus the Knicks, um, we do have this super like, you know, 10 point spread, but uh, the Nets are not just this walk over team like they, they were in the past. It's kind of fun seeing them take a little bit of a step forward, but that has nothing to do with our plays tonight. Maybe it will tomorrow. We'll see. But um, but yeah, so feeling good about these plays. If you guys want to check out this app outlier, um, it's really great. It's pretty wild. Actually, I was just thinking like both of these guys are sort of trending in the same direction. Um, their, their lines look pretty similar. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to check out Outlier, this is great to help you figure out like the details of plays and uh, really decide whether or not you want to take something. You can look at all these different categories. You can take players out of the equation if they're going to be out like Jeremy Sochan. Um, since he's out, I can just put him in there and say, what has Wimbenyama done without him on the floor? And it'll just pull up the games and give you all the stats on it. So it's a killer tool. Um, they give you matchups uh, to individual positions on the floor. And then overall as a team, uh, they cover injury reports. They're really good about getting you the most updated injury reports. And then they also have this tab that gives you insights about the players. It'll break down, um, just gives you a little statement on why they think this play looks good or you know looks good to the over, looks good to the under. Um, and then they point you in the direction of that prop and it'll even like let you go directly to the platform they're finding that and then it'll lock it in for you on there. Um, and they're gonna let you try this out for free. Um, they're letting all of our viewers just have a seven day uh, free trial. Just go through the link in the description for Outlier and they'll hook you up. All right, Jordy. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna be talking about D'Angelo Russell's first half PRA here. Um, I like this one a lot. He's gone over this in nine out of 11 games this year. Um, you know, it's a little bit of a tough matchup against San Antonio. San Antonio looks good. I mean, they're playing good defense. They score a ton on offense. They got really good pieces. I mean, uh, Chris Paul looks really good with the Spurs. I mean, his, uh, you know, leadership on the floor is obviously bringing a lot to this team. So 
uh liking what i'm seeing from the spurs for sure <clears throat> um but d'angelo russell's first half pra looks really good i mean he's gone over this in both matchups against the spurs in recent time um 11 uh, or nine of his 11 games this year he's gone over this and he's he's going over it pretty convincingly in most of these games um so with the history of it and with him going over it quite a bit against them i like it i mean um if you look at his first half minutes this year he's getting about 15 minutes per game sometimes if he's really uh getting it going they're leaving him in there for about 17 minutes so that's what i like to see from plays like this uh, really liking this play obviously there's a lot of injuries um you know jackson hayes is out christian wood jared, Ver or jared vanderbilt possibly Rui hachimori and anthony davis so the lakers are dealing with the injury bug right now for sure and d'angelo russell is healthy so i like him to get a lot of time in this first half eight and a half is really low this is probably going to get bumped up <clears throat> so liking that one to go over and then uh anthony edwards um actually let me show you guys they yeah they still so they took it away on prize picks as well for um d'angelo russell's full pra so i don't know they're moving that around a lot um but his first half has been up so keep an eye out for the full pra or else i'd break it down but it's not even on the outlier tools right now anthony edwards though his three point attempts uh i don't know if you guys have seen but he actually set a record for like uh the most three pointers in the first 10 games he had like 55 threes in the first 10 games of the season so the dude has just been on fire with three point shooting um you know in the last game he got cold he went 0 for 9 uh it was a rough game you could tell he was really frustrated too you know going from shooting 42 percent on 11.4 attempts per game is just bonkers and then dropping down and you know dropping a fat zero so i think he'll write the ship i mean with how many attempts this guy is shooting up four is nothing i mean 13 15 12 13 14 15 14 like the dude is shooting way too many attempts for this line to be at three and a half and it's a soft matchup so 28th and uh, three pointers allowed giving up 15 a game um i like anthony edwards to uh, get it back in this game and i think he can uh, get us at least four three pointers in this game if we look at this on the optimizer they don't agree with me it's a minus 124 to go under but you guys know how i feel about the three point props he could go oh and nine again tomorrow and i still wouldn't be mad at this play because the volume is there i mean he's shooting the attempts that's what matters so he's just got to hit the percentages so i mean if he shoots you know like, like in this game, if he shoots uh, nine attempts and just makes, uh, you know, not even 50%, like 45% of them, he'll, he'll go over this. So uh, liking this, especially when he's getting up into the double digit three point uh, attempts, this is just ridiculous. So in the head to head, the last time he played against Sacramento, he had 15 three point attempts and he made five. So that's what I'm hoping for in this game as well. Obviously, he's only hit one out of uh, four of the head to head. So if that scares you a little bit, you don't have to take it. But uh, I do like this to go over. So that's going to be my two plays, short and sweet on mine. Not really too much to cover with D'Angelo Russell's PRA being all whack. So uh, that's what I'm taking. Uh, keep an eye out for D'Angelo's full PRA or his first half stuff on the other platform. Sometimes Underdog does put those out as well. So yeah, that's going to cover for me. If you guys want to check out the DFS optimizer, Russo kind of showed it off in its glory with how you can search people up. Um, you know, they like... Uh, Anthony Edwards is full points just to go over 25 and a half. So if that's what you want to take, go for it. Uh, if he hits those four threes, he'll be halfway there. So that's kind of the cool thing about this tool. They also like his rebounds to go over. So you can kind of type someone in and find the best play for them. Or if you take him away, you can find just the best plays on the board in general. Um, as you see, they have Keenan Allen's receptions at three and a half for a 54% chance. That's actually a really good line uh, for him for Sunday. Three and a half receptions is really low. So uh, I like, you know, there's a lot of value on DG. And that's the cool thing about it is they'll just show you the best value right at the top of the board. So it does help you cash a lot more. If you want to check this out, use the link in the description below and use code backdoor to get 25% off your first purchase. So whether you want to lock that in for like a month, three months, or a year, they'll give you that 25% off on your very first purchase with it. So it is awesome. And it is definitely worth it if you guys use uh, DFS op, uh, apps a lot. So definitely check them out. Also, we're on a uh, chalkboard. Um, chalkboard is another DFS platform. They're kind of like parlay play where they give you all these different alt lines, um, but they run so many specials. Like they had like... I think it was like eight specials on the NFL board tonight. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely go check them out too. If you use code backdoor at checkout, they'll give you a hundred percent match up to a hundred dollars on your first deposit. And they'll give you a free play to help you cash your first slip. And uh, that's going to cover it all for me. All right. I was kind of losing you there for a minute, but I didn't want to like stop the video. Yeah. I think it's um, my internet. My internet's been really weird for like the last couple of days too. So that's been happening. Well, 
I'll try to wrap this up quick. If you guys <laughs> want to come join our Discord, uh, we work together as a community. We have a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, we build out slips together. If there's value out there, someone in our Discord is going to find it and let the community know. And um, yeah, we, we are super pumped for tomorrow. And uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, you can use the Parlay Play special that we're running right now. Um, which shout out to everyone who's done that. You guys have been awesome. Like we've had so many people sign up and you guys are helping Jordy and out so uh, Jordy and I out so much. Um, and it means a lot to us. Uh, we're, we're trying to, to, uh, you know, we're trying to do this. We're trying to get the videos out for you guys. So when you guys use our codes, it, it really helps us get that much closer to just being able to do this full time. Um, so it means a lot to us. That's why we wanted to pay it forward and get, get you in the discord as well. Um, so you can take advantage of that special, or you can just go th uh, straight through Patreon, which is what manages our subscriptions for us. So you sign up through Patreon, you go into the settings, there's a connected apps option in the menu bar, and then you just sign into Discord right there. Um, and so, uh, yeah, if you do that, uh, you don't have to, but I always encourage people to hop in the community chat because we're a big family in here. We want to welcome you as a family. And we also want to make sure you understand how to use the Discord. So it kind of puts us, uh, puts you on our radar so we can make sure that we uh, show you the ropes and, and make sure you get the most value out of that. Um, if you guys want to follow us on our socials, um, we're on X, we're on TikTok, we're on Instagram. It's just at Backdoor FS. Um, for all of those, uh, me, Jordy, our other analyst, Moose. Oh boy, I don't want to show you guys my messages going on there. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure I block <laughs> that out. <laughs> yeah, a little spoiler alert. Little we spoiler. May, might be talking to another platform here that we're excited about. Um, but uh, but yeah. So uh, if you uh, if you want to follow me, Moose, and uh, Jordy, um, and the main channel, all of that's in the description of the video. Um, so hyped for the weekend, guys. Hope you had a great Thursday night. We will uh, catch you tomorrow for uh, this awesome slate. So have a good night, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Good luck, guys.